Hello, this is a two-part preview now for our Art and Antiques sale, which is next Wednesday and Thursday, the 14th and 15th of November. So I'm going to show you around some of the, uh, the picture sale and some of the antique sale, and then we're going to change around and Will is going to show you some of the watches and jewellery that we've got for this sale. So uh, there's really interesting pictures this time, well worth a look through, some really important pictures here. This is one of the favourite items from this sale, which is by Sir Herbert Gunn. Um, it's a fantastic large-scale oil painting and it probably dates to um, 1930 I'd have thought, something like that, but a really spectacular picture and I love the colours in this one. Um, it has a good provenance for in America and in London and the estimate's going to be, uh, the estimate is six to eight thousand on this one, but could, could do a bit better than that. But superb picture and in really nice condition as well and some other good pictures that i'll show you as well so we'll just travel around we're going to leap a bit between the pictures and the antiques and uh, a bit of interesting first war ephemera here so this album is an original first war period album that first of all just starts off with postcards from the first war but there are some beautiful pencil drawings in here so there's cards from the front line 1916-1917 and then we get a bit further some really wonderful pencil drawings here so that's 1917 letters from the front in 1917 lovely um, watercolour drawing here Christmas in the trenches a card from the front line Nothing is to be written on this side. I'm quite well. That's it. 1918. And then photographs. And there's someone a little bit later on. There's a, a detail of that drawing. So it's an original ink drawing dated 1918. And a, flower, a pressed flower from the front. A beautiful that one as well. Wonderful thing. There's masses here. And then, and then right at the back we've got peace. That morning we were waiting for. November 1918. Isn't that wonderful? A hundred years ago exactly this week. So that's estimated at three to four hundred. I think it works out at about £10 per drawing, which is nothing, is it? Could do a lot better, well, must do a lot better than that. It's a lovely thing. There's a Second War period, uh, just after Second War period, of King, the King George here, signed by the King as well. It's 1949, estimate three to 400. We've got tribal art here as well, uh, from the Colin Taylor collection, collection these um, Native American gloves with beadwork and a knife sheath there as well and this is from a different collection but this is a uh, this is a cassowary bird knife and these were originally uh, used by cannibals <laughs> a headhunter's knife that one made from a cassowary bird thigh bone um, lots of interesting things around here as well some beautiful uh, quite modern carriage clocks here as well so these are by Michael Norman which are top quality modern striking carriage clocks here. This here is £2,870 if you wanted to buy that new. That's got its original box as well. I mean, the estimate is about £300, I think, for something like that. That's by Michael Norman as well. What's that called? That's the Helios clock. £1,800 that would cost you if you wanted to go and buy that new. It was going to be two to three hundred. <laughs> it's a good investment, wasn't it? And these, actually, this is lovely. Nice um, desk, multiple dial clock, thermometer, barometer, and hygrometer. That's a nice thing with an original fitted leather case as well. Again, two to three hundred pounds for that. Great idea for a Christmas present for a gentleman who has everything. Lots of silver in this time as well. Some nice tea sets. And uh, really interesting 
array of silver, lots of um, um, vinaigrettes and snuff boxes this time as well. This is uh, one of the most important pieces of artwork we have this time. This is an original painting by Walter Sickert. So it's, uh, it's a portrait of an actress. And she was Hilda Spong as Imog Imogen Parrot in Trelawney of the Wells in 1898. And this was when it was sold um, at the Hepworth Gallery in London for £42,000. And the estimate is twenty-five to 35000 for that one. But nice original condition as well. And uh, so immaculate provenance with that one. And what else have we got? Something for turning the pages of your newspaper in the shape of a sword. That's Victorian silver and ivory blade as well. A hundred or two pounds that's going to make. And we'll just carry on around here. Oh, actually, I'm looking at you. I missed that, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> the Picasso plate. So this is one of a limited edition by Madura. Um, so that was the factory that produced the limited edition run of the Picasso ceramics. And um, it's signed on the reverse as well. Quite a well-known series of plates, the Visage. Uh, it's going to be 1,500 to 2,000 estimate. But uh, these have come up for sale at Lon in London and made closer to 4,000 for exactly that, for one of those from that same series. Uh, what else we got? Uh, there's a nice uh, rum barrel down here. It's a good thing as well, nice original condition. They were produced for the Queen's coronation and they're always quite popular things. Should be three or four hundred pounds I'd have thought for that. Lots more interesting paintings as well around here and we'll just just have a look around the front here as well. There's things everywhere this time which is what it really is an interesting lot to have a look through. Um, this one here is particularly interesting um, it's an unsigned work it's um, 17th or 18th century but the thing that I find most interesting about this is on the back it has this wax seal which is a Hermitage um, Russian collection seal here. So that's quite a speculative early Russian painting there as well. So estimate is a thousand or two but that really is an unknown quantity that one. Could be anything. Here's an early English portrait here, so this dates to about 1700. That's a lovely thing as well, just came from a local private house in its original gilt wood frame as well. That's a beautiful portrait there. And that should be, should be around a thousand or so as well. But we're just hanging the pictures at the moment, so it really is worth a look through this. So the best selection of pictures we've had for some time, I think. Uh, some really interesting things. So that's all online now. So we're just going to change around and then Will is going to show you some of the watches and jewellery that we have this time. Right, hello, welcome back. Um, so I'll just take you through in a moment what we've got here, or a brief look at the jewellery, watches, and maybe a few other bits of silver as well that weren't mentioned. Um, so this month is probably the best month of jewellery. I know we say it every single time, but this is probably the best month of jewellery we've had for a very long time. And the reason we keep saying it is because it's becoming such a large part of our business, the, the jewellery side and watches, just because that's what's in fashion. It's all about fashions nowadays. So um, let's have, just have a quick look in here and see what we've pulled out from, from the, the safe. Let's start at the front. So this was um, brought in by a, um, a local private lady and didn't have a clue that it was, that it was diamonds. And... Um, well, there must be about four or five carats worth of diamonds in that one. Lovely bracelet though, fantastic diamonds in there. It's in 14 carat white gold as well. Should be around four or five thousand. Would have thought that at least. What have we got on the ring pad here? Got lots of, lots of solitaire diamond rings, which, will, which the ladies always love, gentlemen. <laughs> got Christmas coming up, so we've got, what's that, a, a one point 
4 carat, 1.3 carat solitaire diamond ring. Got a, another 1.2 carat one there. Got a nice Art Deco style ring here. Look at that. And for the person who wants to do it all, engagement and wedding ring in one. So they both fit together there. So it's a three stone diamond ring and it slots into the, the wedding ring there. And just in front of it, don't know, you probably wouldn't have seen one of these before. It's called a star sapphire. So that, that in, in the center there is a sapphire and it's displaying something called asterism. And that's basically light coming into the stone and reflecting from loads of different needle-like inclusions inside the stone, which give you the six-rayed star. Fantastic jewelry. We've got another real chunk there as well. Men's gypsy ring. Sadly, it's got a bit of a chip out of the top, but it's still a smashing diamond. Excuse the pun. <laughs> and then this one here, this is a real standout for this time. If you can guess by the box, it's Tiffany & Co. So this was bought from the vendor, directly from Tiffany on Fifth Avenue. So that's central, it's a three stone diamond ring here. So the central stone is a pear cut diamond, which is just over a carat. And then we've got two trillion cut diamonds on the shoulders, which are in total about 0.39 carats. So as a ring itself, it's a fantastic quality one. Very clear diamonds in that. And it's all in fantastic setting as well, all stamped and it's with its certification too. And then we've got some, moving on to some watches as well. We've got usual suspects of Amiga Seamaster. I think we had one in last month um, that sold for about 900 pounds. So this one's in for eight to 1200. It's got its box as well. This is a, a Yuli Snardan. So it's a second more period wristwatch, this one. Nice chronograph on and it's working as well. Don't see those often. And then we've got a Jean Richard, which I'm told is also an extremely rare wrist watch, especially this model. That's an Aqua Star. It's a diver's watch there. Should be around probably seven to 900, that one. And then in front of it, the normal Rolex, which is an Air King date with a black face. So a bit more of a rare one, should be around 2000 that one. And look at that. For the person who has it all, a little Cartier box. So this one's made by, by Jacques Cartier. With a diamond push button there as well. That should be around 1500 to 2000. We've seen a few of these coming up as well. Generally making around two to two and a half thousand. So that's a good price for that one. And then this is another stand-up piece of jewellery. It's um, not what it looks like, it's not a bracelet. It's actually more of a necklace, a choker sort of necklace. Um, so there's around five carats worth of diamonds in total in this one. And that central step-cut diamond in the centre is probably between 1.1 and 1.2 carats. But again, a fantastic piece of jewellery. It's not stuff you see often here or anywhere. And it sh should be around five to 8,000. So a really nice piece of jewellery, that one. And then just one other piece to mention. So we'll have to run up to the back <laughs> just oh, really? to get this one in as well. <laughs> right, so this, is the, this came in absolutely last minute. Well worth a mention. Look at that. For a silver tray and it's solid silver. Oh jeez. <laughs> Look at that. That is a real piece of art that one isn't it? Should be around four to six thousand for that one. But that really does weigh a ton and it's with its original wooden case as well. <laughs> it's a real mantelpiece thing. <laughs> Right, so um, thank you very much for staying with us for all this time. Hopefully you switched it up a bit um, with us changing things about. 
Uh, so the sale is on Wednesday, the antique sale is on Wednesday of next week, so that's the 14th, and then the picture sale is on the 15th, which is on the Thursday. So viewing days are Monday and Tuesday, so the Monday is from 9 till 5, Tuesday from 9 till 7. Uh, apart from that, have a look online, thank you very much.